when we were learning about electrostatics we learned that electrons carry a negative charge we also learned that electrons are mobile meaning that they can move freely in conductors now when a circuit is complete negative charge or electrons can move through the circuit Later in the lesson, we will learn about the difference between a complete circuit and an, and an incomplete electric circuit. However, negative charge carried by electrons will not move unless there is a reason for it to move. A force must drive this charge in a circuit. So this means that charge or those electrons require a force to push them around the circuit. This means that work needs to be done to make the charge move. Work is done when energy is transferred to the charges so that they can move. But where is this energy coming from? The energy is provided by a power source such as a battery in a circuit. The battery gives the charge energy so that it can move. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define potential difference across the ends of a conductor in words as well as in symbols. And also state the SI unit for potential difference. Define EMF define something called terminal potential difference and be able to calculate to 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 perform calculations involving potential difference the simplest electric circuit is made of a power source such as a battery conducting wires which carry the charge around the circuit and a load such as a light bulb the battery gives electrical energy to the charge and the load uses the energy of these charges. So the battery gives energy to the negative charges carried by electrons and this allows the charges to move in the circuit. The load then uses the charge, the energy from the charge by turning on the light bulb. This means that the conducting wires take or carry the energized charge from the battery to the light bulb, which uses the energy of the charge. The conductor then returns the charge to the battery so that it can get more energized. This process will continue until the battery is flat. That, and this is when all its stored chemical energy has been converted into electrical energy to power up the light bulb. A battery, as we've learned just now, has the potential to drive charge around a complete circuit. The battery has potential energy that can be converted into electrical energy by doing work on the charge in the circuit to make it move. Now, work is a measure of energy transfer that occurs when an object is moved over a distance by an external force. Remember, the battery transfers energy to the charges and the charge is moved over a certain distance in the circuit. This is why we say work is done. Understanding this means that we can define a quantity called potential difference. Potential difference across the ends of a conductor is the energy transferred or the work done per unit electric charge that is flowing through it. In symbols, Potential difference equals to V equals to W divided by Q, where V is the potential difference measured in volts, W is the work done measured in joules, 
and Q is the amount of charge that is measured in coulombs. Potential difference can also sometimes be referred to as voltage. Potential difference can be measured using a voltmeter between two points. The symbol for voltmeter is this. You have a circle with a V uh, inside and you also see the connecting wires. Let us have a look at another electric circuit. We have the conducting wires or the connecting wires in blue. We also have a battery or a cell, the symbol for which is a, a long vertical line and a short vertical line. The long vertical line is for the positive terminal and the short vertical line is for the negative terminal of the battery. We also have a light bulb the symbol for which is a circle with a cross. Then we also have a voltmeter connected across the two ends of a battery. This means that we are trying to determine the potential difference across the two ends of this battery. And finally, we have a switch, S. The switch S is open, meaning that the circuit is incomplete or it is open. This means that there is no flow of electric charge in the circuit because the switch is open. Now, when you measure the potential difference across or between the terminals of a battery in an open or an incomplete circuit, you are measuring the EMF of the battery. This is the maximum amount of work per coulomb of charge that the, that the battery can do to drive the charge from one terminal through the circuit to the other terminal. We can then now define the EMF as the work done per unit charge by the power source or the battery and it is equal to the potential difference measured across the terminals of a battery when no charges are flowing through or in the circuit. Let us consider a slightly different scenario. So we still have conducting wires in blue. We have the battery, the light bulb, the voltmeter, which is connected across the two ends of a battery. This means we are trying to determine the potential difference across the two ends of this battery. And finally, we also still have the switch S. But take care or note that the switch is closed, meaning that the circuit is complete or it is closed. This means that there is a flow of charge in the circuit because the switch is closed. And when you measure the potential difference across or between the terminals of a battery for a complete circuit, you are measuring what is called the terminal potential difference of the battery. We can now, therefore, define the terminal potential difference of voltage as the voltage or the potential difference measured across the terminals of a battery when charges are flowing in the circuit. The EMF and the terminal potential difference are two separate quantities. Both are potential difference and both are measured in volts, but you need to be able to differentiate between the two. The EMF is measured is the measured potential difference between the ends of a battery in an incomplete circuit when the switch is open, meaning charge is not flowing. The terminal potential difference is measured across the ends of a battery in a complete circuit when the circuit is closed and charge is flowing through it. 
So note those two differences. In grade 11 and in grade 12, you will learn more and perform calculations involving EMF. Before we do a calculation involving potential difference, let us have a look at this triangle as it will help in terms of deriving the expression for potential difference V, the charge Q, and the work done W. We already mentioned that the potential difference across the ends of a conductor is given by capital letter V, which is equals to W divided by Q. So the potential is given by V equals to W divided by Q. The charge Q is equals to W divided by V. So the charge Q is equals to W divided by V when you are given the work done and the potential difference. W equals to V multiplied by Q when given the potential difference and the charge. A battery transfers 60 kilojoules of energy to 5 kilocoulombs of electric charge. Calculate the voltage or the potential difference of the battery. So we have a battery which transfers 60 kilojoules of energy or to a charge. And this means that work of 60 kilojoules is done on 5 kilocoulombs of electric charge. And we must find the voltage of this battery. We are given that the work done is 60 kilojoule, which is equal to 60,000 joules, because kilo means a thousand. Therefore, it is 60 multiplied by a thousand, which is equal to 60,000 joules. We also know that the charge is 5 kilo coulombs, which is equal to 5 thousand coulombs because a kilo means a thousand therefore we have five multiplied by a thousand which is five thousand and we need to find v and it must be in volts and we will solve using the expression for potential difference of voltage which is that the potential difference equals to the work done per unit charge Q. The potential difference is the energy transferred, which is the work done per unit charge. V then equals to 60,000 divided by 5,000, which is equals to 12 V. And this is your final answer. We have learned that the potential difference across the ends of a conductor is the energy transferred per unit electric charge flowing through it. And in symbols, the potential difference equals to V equals to W divided by Q. EMF is the work done per unit charge by a source such as a battery, and it is equal to the potential difference measured across the terminals of a battery where no charges are flowing in the circuit. The terminal potential difference is the voltage measured across the terminals of a battery when charges are flowing in the circuit. 